Oh, hi. How are you? I hope you've had at least one good snack today. Today, I want to talk about gaming snacks and why a snack might not be great for gaming. First of all, if you need two hands to grab the snack, it's not great for gaming. You're going to have to let go of your controller or your keyboard and mouse and whatever, and you can't play a game without using your hands. This is especially true if you're playing a game that you can't pause, like an online game, because you're going to die. You're going to die a lot, because you're snacking a lot, and if you have to let go of your controller all the time, you're going to die. You will literally die for snacks. Don't get me wrong, some snacks are worth dying for. No! I will not die for snacks! Oh, I maybe will die for snacks. But most of the times it's not. So unless you constantly want to pause your game, stick to snacks that require one hand. Before moving on to the next point, I want to say that you can get around this by preparing the snack before. Just make sure you include that in your plans. Second, snacks that are messy are not good for gaming. Like, if you've got a snack that leaves flour or dust or something on your fingers, you're going to get that on your controller and it's all going to be a mess. You can get around this by like wiping your fingers after every time you have a snack, but putting way too much effort into a snack. You should put that effort into your game. So try to find a snack that isn't super messy. Thirdly, kind of relates to the previous point. If a snack is really crumbly or falls apart easy, it's not a good gaming snack. Like if the snack falls apart between the plate and your mouth, it's not going to be good because you're either not going to get the snack in your mouth, it's going to be on the floor, or you're going to have crumbles everywhere and that makes you really uncomfortable. Like have you tried sitting on crumbles for a while? It's uncomfortable. And you don't want to be uncomfortable when playing games. So yeah, try to find a snack that isn't going to leave crumbles everywhere. Fourthly, is that even a word? If you're on voice chat with like teammates or friends or whatever, or if you're streaming, try to find a snack that isn't super loud. Basically, if you have a snack that's super crunchy, that's all your friends are going to hear. Some people really don't like hearing eating sounds. Unless you make snacks a part of your stream, my Twitch channel! Woo! Plug, 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 plug. <laughs> Maybe stay away from super loud snacks. Fifthly, if you can't leave a snack out for very long, it's probably not a good gaming snack. Like, if you're in a long gaming session and you're planning on having ice cream while you're playing, you're gonna get 20 minutes into your session and then the ice cream's gonna be soup. So you're gonna have to go and put the ice cream back in the freezer, go back to your game, and then when you want another snack, you're gonna have to go to the freezer, get the ice cream out, 20 minutes later, you're going to have to repeat the whole thing. If you're playing a game that has loads of really long loading screens, you could maybe time your ice cream adventures to those screens, but otherwise, find a snack that you can keep out in room temperature for all of your gaming session. And finally, make sure your snack doesn't take up too much space. If you have to move your keyboard or mouse or make yourself uncomfortable to fit eight different plates of snacks, you might want to rethink your snackage. Like, stick to... Oh my god. Like, stick to... Snacks. That's really hard to say. Like, stick to snacks. Like, stick to snacks that are easy to store, doesn't take up too much space, and that you don't have to go out of your way to reach. Unless you have, like, a specially designed snacking table. Like a table that goes around you, that you can put all your snacks on. Ikea, are you listening? So anyway, those are some thoughts I have on what I think makes a snack not great for gaming. Let me know in the comments what you think makes a snack bad for gaming. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'll snack you next time. Bye!